Okay. So, um, okay, so we'll start with the... Uh, crossword? Crossword, thank you, thank you. Like that, okay. First one is like a tire with a hole in it. Flat? Flat, flat, flat tire. Close friend. I didn't write that one. <laughs> Close friend is pal, P-A-L. T-A-L? P-A-L. If somebody's your friend, that person is your pal. Mm, okay. So, so you can, if you're introducing your friend to somebody else, you could say, this is, this is John. He's my pal. Just means your friend. Next, number three, I mean, number five, uh, number eight across is to burst as a balloon. Pop, pop. pop. P-O-P. Then we have number 11, great anger. Rage. Rage. Rage is great anger. Then we have number 12 across to tell a fib. Lie. Lie. Then we have number 13 across, tiny insect. Ant. Ant. Next is part of a stove for baking. Oven. 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 Then we have a citrus fruit or its color. Orange. Orange. Right. Next one is Atlantis State. Georgia. Right. <coughs> so we're going to go on the map. We don't want that. We want this. We want to go over here. Between Carolina, South Carolina and Alabama. Right. We'll just take a look. Make this bigger. There we go. So we want the uh, Dropbox for the map. Every time we see a state or a city, it's good to just review the, the, the where it is and where and where it's near. So we want to do that one. All right. So let's enlarge this. Why can't this get any bigger? There we go. All right. There we go. So where's um where's Georgia? Where's Atlanta? Between uh, South. Um. Florida. West. I can't see that one. Okay, I will check this here. South Southeast. Yeah. Southeast. Absolutely southeast. It's it's north of Florida and southwest of South Carolina. Yes. And to the east of Alabama. Yes. That's Georgia there. It's a southern state. And the capital is a mate one of the major cities uh, called Atlanta. It's a very nice city. Very modern city, even though it goes back in history, in U.S. history, it's uh, it's it's a very nice city. So that's Georgia, number eighteen, across. At this time, now, now, then we have number twenty is coloring for cloth. Dye. Dye. D y e. D y. D y e. Dye. Dye is a verb also, so you can dye something blue, you can dye something red, but it's also the name of the chemical that causes the color change, the dye. Mm -hmm. So it's a noun and a verb. Then we have 21, half a dozen. Six. 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 22 is myself. Me. Me. Then we have 20, 20. That's annoying. Then we have 22. I'm sorry, uh, 23 across. It's boiled to make maple syrup. Sap? Sap, right. Sap is what comes out of a tree, especially in the spring. The, the, the tree, it's, it's what the trees use for nutrition. But when you take it out of the tree, you can make syrup out of it. That's sap. It's very thick and sweet. It's got a lot of sugar in it. Then we have 26 across is the right size. Looks like this stuff. Uh, Fits. Right, so. to fit, fits, right, fits. Fits. Number 28 across is a city with a harbor for large ships. Port. Port, port right, a port is where, where the big ships pull in. Like New York is a port, Miami is a port, uh, Los Angeles is a port. Anytime you have a, an area along the ocean that's designed for big ships to come in, that would be a port. Then we have 30 is Pittsburgh State. 30 across. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. And where's Pennsylvania? 
I mean, where, yeah, where's Pennsylvania? Um, in the north northeast. Northeast, north right. That's it over there. And Pittsburgh is in the western part of the state. The main cities are Philadelphia, which is on the east. That's Philadelphia. That's not. That's pretty easy to drive to. You could you could drive to Philadelphia in about two hours. Not far from Connecticut. But but uh, Pittsburgh is on the other side of Pennsylvania, on the western part, and it's much uh, it's much further away. Yeah, it's something like. Yeah, that's Pittsburgh. And the short the, the short the abbreviation for Pennsylvania is PA. That would yeah. be the answer to thirty across. Then we have thirty one. A golf or a tennis pro? It's ace. Ace. Eight. It comes out to be ace, A-C-E. An ace is somebody who's very good at a sport. You can be an ace in baseball, an ace in soccer, an ace in tennis. Somebody who's very accomplished, very good in his sport is sometimes said to be an ace. Can we use the end football too? Oh, soccer. Excuse me? Can we use the for uh, soccer? Yeah, I think you could. You could, but it's not. I, I don't think I've heard it used for soccer, but yeah, it I, means somebody who's very good. So you could say, yeah, you could be an ace in soccer. You could be right. an ace in mathematics too. If you're very good in mathematics, you could be an ace. Like a professional. Yeah, like right. a professional, exactly. Number 32 across is what a sleeve covers. Arm. 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 Then we have 33. We, we ran across this word before, I think. A sign of things to come. Um, oh, my Omen. Yep. Then we have um, number 35, a channel changer for a TV. Remote. 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 That's the thing you hold on to when you press the button to make the channel change. Then we have tiny circle, which is 37. That. A dot is just a single, a single point, just a point. Then we have 38 is another word for leave. Depart. Depart. Then we have number 40, which is Tampa's State. I don't know. Florida. Tampa is in Florida, right. I don't know, Florida. I don't know Florida that well. I think it's, I think it might be on the, uh, the Gulf Coast. I'm not sure, but uh, it's, it's a common place where people go to vacation, but it's definitely yeah. within the state of Florida. The biggest state is, the biggest city is uh, gonna be Miami. Most people have heard of Miami. But Tampa is uh, another another city in Florida, which is in the very south. Mm -hmm. And what do you call when you have a piece of land that juts out like this, surrounded on three sides by water? What's the name Pen of that? Peninsula. Peninsula, exactly. That's a peninsula. Then we have forty-two across. King, queen, or jack? Card. Card. Okay. Next is another state, Little Rock State. Where's the Little Rock? Arkansas. Very good. And that's Arkansas right there. It's in the south. And the capital is the, a city called Little Rock, Arkansas. Right over there. Then um, we have uh, number 46, a dance in Hawaii. Hula. Yeah, we keep coming across that one. Hula. Then we have number 48 across, have to pay. Oh. oh, then we have number 49, a tall plant in a forest. Tree. Tree. Then we have 51 across, a person on Capitol Hill for short. Senator. Senator. Now Capitol Senator. Hill, let's talk about Capitol, Capitol Hill is, um, is the name for where Congress is. Let me show you Capitol Hill. That's where the, 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 the Congress is. I'll show you that one. So this is Capitol Hill. The way mm -hmm. this, is the, this is the dome here. The Senate is on one side and the House of Representatives is on the other side. Remember, there are two houses of Congress. There's the House of Representatives and the um, Senate. And the, the House is on one side and the Senate is on the other side. And it's, up, it's a little bit up on a hill in Washington, D.C. So they call it mm -hmm. Capitol Hill. So that's Capitol Hill. And you have representatives and you have senators there. Okay. okay. That's that. So it would be SEN for short, 51 across. 
Then we have another word for 52 across is marry. Wed. Wed. And then we have 53 across business agreement. Deal. A deal, right. If you make a deal with somebody, it means you agree to do something. Like if you own a store and you uh, agree to sell me uh, a washing machine, uh, then we, we agree on the price. That means we have a deal. You're selling it to me and I'm going to pay you for it. That's a deal. And then we have 54 across is to find the sum. Add. Add. So if, yeah, so when you add things, you find the sum. And if you subtract, then that's the difference. So if you have the, the sum of five and two is seven, but the difference between the difference of five and two is three because five minus two is three. So minus means difference and sum means add. Then we're on uh, number one down. Uh, hopping animal like a toad. Frog. 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 Then we have hot stuff that flows from a volcano. Lava. Lava. You've seen lava. Let me show you some lava. This is interesting. It looks so pretty, amazing, actually. But, amazing, from, but, but you don't want to be there. Yes. You but from far away. Just, yeah, I'm far, far away, yeah. It, it burns, it just takes everything out of its way. Like. This is like, thing is different. Yeah. yeah that looks wow. Yeah, that's lava. It comes from the center of the earth. It comes up through a volcano. Okay, so that's lava. Wow. That's interesting. So that was uh, number two down of lava. It's that hot stuff that comes, th that mol it's rock. Number? It's, it's melted rock that comes out. Right, number three is number of years since your birthday. Three age. Down, age. Your age, right. Since you were born, your, your age. Then we have number four down. Sport with a ball and, and racket. Your sport, tennis. 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 It is my sport, yes. <laughs> tennis. Number five down. A farm machine to break up the soil. Plow. Right, let's do plow. That's one, yeah. Let's take a look at a plow. Uh, that's uh, a plow. Like this, oh. like this one. That's a plow. It, oh. can be a big, it can be a big one like this. It can be just pushing it behind a, let me see this probably, that's a plow. It just, it rips up the soil so you can plant. But we are calling for the uh, clean the snow, right? Yeah, it's also for removing snow. Yes, absolutely. In fact, you know, you've seen a lot of snow plows on the road in the last day. They just plow the road and get the snow off the road. You're absolutely right. Mm -hmm. That's also a plow. I told yesterday, uh, uh, nobody has came for the cleaning the snow and I uh, testing to my uh, owner, house owner and, but I don't know what does this mean? And now I got it. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this is also, a, this is what we saw yesterday. A lot oh, of yeah. that. That's also a plow when, an, when a farmer uh, has a horse, a couple of horses and he pushes the, the horses and they, they pull the plow and it rips up the, ground so they can uh, plow. That's another wow. big plow. And that's a, this is a snow plow, like you pointed out, I, I know. That's a snow plow. Yeah, snow plow. Very good, that's a plow. Then we have, um, where are we? Number six. Six down is a mixture of gas, mixture of gases we breathe. Air. Air. Then we have seven down, person taking charge. Later. Leader. Then we have eight down, printed sheets in books. Pages. Pages. Then we have uh, number nine down, half a pair. One. One? One. One. Okay, then we have pint, P-I-N-T. P-T. P-T. 
Now let's let's review the measures of volume that we use. If you have a you have a, a cup like something like this, and you have two cups, the amount that's in two cups, that's a pint. That's what a cup is. It's two pints. Picture a cup as being like a cup of tea or a cup of juice. It's not that big. If you two of those is equal to a pint. Now, if you take two pints, do you know what that's equal to? A quart. A quart, right. Two quart. pints is a quart. Quart or liter. A quart, yeah, it's about the same as a liter. And what do you call it when you have four quarts? One gallon. One gallon, very good. So we have a teaspoon, we have a, um, a cup, a pint, a quart, and a gallon. That's it. And when you buy gasoline, you're, it's by the gallon. So if it's $2.36, that's per gallon. Okay, so that was that one. Then we have um, number 16, Albany State. And W, New, New York, right? US map, map, PDF. So we'll go back to the map. So where's Albany is, New York's a pretty big state. Of course, that's Albany, that's New York. Capital is not New York City. New York City is the biggest city by far. It's the biggest city in the country. That's New York City right there. But it's not the capital of New York. The capital of New York is Albany. That's where the governor lives and the state Supreme Court are there and the, and the state government is all up in Albany. And then you have another big city called Buffalo. Buffalo is right on Lake Erie. So they get a lot of snow in Buffalo. They get loads and loads of snow because the the air goes over Lake Erie and then it hits Buffalo and it snows like crazy there. If you live in Buffalo, you're going to see a lot of snow. So that's New York. Then we have 19 down. A large animal like a bull. Ox. Ox. Let's take a look at an ox. You want to see an ox? Google. Ox. They're big. Those are ox. And the plural of ox, it's irregular. It's not oxes. It should be oxes, but it's, it's irregular. It's oxen, O-X-E-N. So that's an ox, but all these together are oxen, O-X-E-N. Yeah. That's the plural. Okay, so now we're on number 22 down. 21. Okay. I'm sorry, 21 down. What's the flower stalk? Stem. Stem, right? The stem is the flower. The stem is, you know what that is. Take a look at the stem. That's the stem, this thing. So you have the, the uh, that's the stem and that's the flower. What's the part that's under the ground? I'm sorry. Oh, I What's don't the know. What's the part of the flower that's under the ground? Petals. The, the petals are up here. Mm -hmm. These are petals, but the part that grows under the ground. I forgot. Ah, I, was I, don't, I don't know. It, it's a, the root, R-O-O-T. Oh, yeah, root. Ah, the root. root. The roots root. are under yeah. the ground. So you have the root yeah. under the ground, then we have the stem, and then the flowers are on the top. Sure. <laughs> Those are the pan. Okay. Root. Then we have number uh, 22 down is mother, another word for mother. Mom. Mom. 24 down is a chimp or gorilla. Eight. Eight. Then we have 25 down. Use it on the stove for frying. Pan. Pan. Pans, right? A fry pan. 26 down is a long way away. Far. 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 Now what cover, number 27 down, it covers most of Greenland. Ice. ice. Ice, right. Ice is about 90%. Greenland is about 90% ice. There's nothing there but ice. It's a big area, but it's uh, nobody lives there. It's just ice. It's, it's really, it's really, really covered with ice. Then um, 28 down is to get ready. Prepare. 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 Then we have number 29 down. What a dentist might have to fill or pull. Tooth. Tooth. Then we have 30 down, 32 down, dined on. 32, eight. Eight. Then we have Montana. 34, right? Uh, uh, 34 mm, down. 
That's a, that's a hard one because you hardly ever hear about Montana. It's very, there's not many people living there. And it's, it's something that we don't deal with much in, in the East Coast. But this is Montana over there, up there in the Northwest. And the capital of Montana is Helena. Come to think of it, I don't think I've ever known anybody who was from Montana. There's just not that many people living there, but it's a very big state. Look at the size of it. It must be yeah, at least 10 is, times as yes. big as Connecticut, but much, le much less big. people. So that's the state of Montana. And between North Dakota and the top of Idaho here. Yes. And the short form of Montana, which is 34 down, is MT. 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 Then we have 36 down. Strange. Odd. Odd. Then we have 37 down. A person to see if you're sick for short. Doctor. DR. 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 Then we have 39 down. Space being measured. 39, right? 39. Area. 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 The area. 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 Then we have 40 down. Ran away from. Fled. Fled. Fled comes from the verb to flee. Yeah. That's the infinitive, to flee. The past tense of flee is fled. So you could say the criminal fled from the police. Means that, that's flee okay. or fled. Then we have um, 41 down, part of earth that isn't water. Land. Land. Then we have 42 down, animal on a dairy farm. Cow. cow. Pronounced cow. 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 What is a male cow called? Um, ox. Eh? Close. Close. Ox. I think it's, it's more, it's called a bull. Bull. Bull? Bull. Yeah. Let me show you a bull. Bull. Uh, I know bull, but bull. I didn't know. A bull is a male cow. Uh, <laughs> bull. Bulls are always male. Who is ox? <laughs> an ox is an ox is also a, another. It's like a cow, but it's bigger. It's a different. It's a different animal. Mm -hmm. It's like an ox. It's really like a bull is really like an ox. Good. It's really that's what they look like. Those are bulls, mm -hmm. male. Okay. Then we have then we have um, number forty three down a maze. I I ow ow. That's a hard one. It's awe. Oh. Awe. Awe. Like when you see something really amazing, you're in awe. You're amazed. It's you'll you're in awe. A W A. Like you see a beautiful painting or something, maybe, or or you see a famous site that you've seen pictures of your whole life, but you've never seen it in person, and then you see it, and you might be in awe because it's so uh, amazing. Oh, okay. Awe. Pronounce awe. Then we have forty four. A color that tells drivers to stop at the light. Red. Red. Then we have Canada's southern neighbor for short. TD. TD. For USA, right. For USA. 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 United States of America. Yeah. And then we have a football score. This is kind of silly. TD means touchdowns. Touchdowns. If you don't know football, then don't worry about it. It's a, a oh, football. touchdown. Touchdown. Oh, okay. TD for short, a touchdown. When the player takes the ball and runs it over a goal line, then that's called a touchdown. And you get six points for that in American football. I didn't know it. Yeah. Again, it's only football. You know, if you don't care about football, don't worry about it. And then we have the next one, which is. El Paso? Right, El Paso. Where is El Paso? Texas. In Texas? Very south. Yeah, it's very, very south in Texas. It's right across the border from Mexico. Sometimes people who are coming over from Mexico go through El Paso. It's not on this map, but it's somewhere, I think it's somewhere over here. It's, it's definitely on the southern <laughs> border with Mexico. That's called El Paso. It's a, it's a city in Texas, right next to Mexico. But the capital of Texas is Austin. That's the capital of this very big state of Texas. Okay, so that's the puzzle. So much for the puzzle.
So now we'll go to the grammar book. I mean, you're not the grammar, but the, the, you know, the textbook, the challenger book. Mm -hmm. 157. 157, thank you. So um, we started last time and we made it up to about number, uh, up, you know, I think we, we made it up to number eight and then we, then we, we ran out of time. So uh, let's start with number eight. And we'll talk about 11, 11. 11, yeah, okay. we were, number 11. We said, yeah, 11. Okay, 11 it is. We'll start with 11. So we'll go, we'll take turns reading it. The president's cabinet is made up of men and women who had the different departments and give the president advice. Right, that's cabinet. A cabinet is also something that you put your dishes in in the kitchen. If you put your dishes in your cup, uh -huh. it, you know, that's a cabinet. But mm -hmm. it also yeah. means the people who advise the president who are the heads of the different departments. Like the cabinet includes the Secretary of State, Secretary of Defense, Secretary of the Treasury, Secretary of Transportation, Secretary of Housing, the Attorney General. Those are different. There's about 13 or 14 of them about who are the head of the different Part departments and they're called the cabinet. Mm -hmm. so cabinet means those two things. Good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then we have um, number okay, 12. Number 12. The largest city in the United States is New York City. The largest city is that, what? What? It is no, it's not. Give me one second. <laughs> okay. Where are we? Number number At 12. Atlantic State could be. New what York City. New York yeah, city. New York City. I said, but it is New York City. What well, well, is New York City? Oh, it is about the people. No, remember, new, there's two New Yorks. There's New York yes. State, and then within New York State, one of the cities is New York City. Mm -hmm. But I got it. But largest city means population or place it can mean it's it, well it, it can mean population big cities oh, okay. it can mean population or size or physical what? size but physical size is new york state oh okay. new york state new york city is part of new york state mm -hmm. i got it so okay. new york state new york city is the biggest state do you know what the second uh, the, excuse me new york city is the biggest city do you know what the second biggest city in the united states is after new, new york city la L.A., correct. L.A. is number two. Very good. Then there's a number 13. Okay. The city of brotherly love is Philadelphia. Right. And the reason they call it that is that Philadelphia was settled by a group of people called Quakers. They were looking for religious freedom because they weren't mm -hmm. allowed to have their religion in uh, England or wherever they were from. I think they were, maybe they were, they were from Europe somewhere and they, they decided to have an area where anybody could have any religion or no religion. It was, there's no forced religion like there used to be. So they mm -hmm. call it the city of brotherly love, meaning you can love your brother, meaning your friend or your neighbor, no matter what his or her religion is, it doesn't matter. So they call it the city of brotherly love. Okay. Philadelphia. Nice. Yeah. The American state that is well known for it is Boardwalk is Atlantic City. Atlantic City. Atlantic City. Let me yeah. show you the boardwalk. Atlantic City. It is riding, yeah. yeah. Atlantic City boardwalk is um that's where you, it's a vacation spot right near the ocean. It's like this. Here's a here's a better picture of it. It's a boardwalk. It's really it's more than boards. But there's all sorts of stores and, and restaurants and stuff here. You can walk on the boardwalk and then the beach is right here. And then you go swimming in the beach, in the ocean. This is the Atlantic Ocean because it's in Atlantic City and it's right on the Atlantic Ocean uh, because it's on the East Coast. Good. That's cool. Yep, that's Atlantic City. It's a nice place to visit in the summer. All right, that's Atlantic City. We'll get rid of that. Okay. Okay, next one. Is 15. 15. The country uh, that was split into two countries after World War II ended is 
Germany. Right. They called it West Germany and East Germany. If you remember, East Germany was under the control of Russia and West Germany was under the control of the Western countries like the United States and France and England mm -hmm. after World War II. Now it's one big country, of course. They reunited about 20 years ago, more than maybe 30 years ago. Now it's just one big country, Germany. Yeah. So now number 16. The American who invented the light bulb is Thomas Edison. Right. Let's look at him. He invented the light bulb. That's him. He invented the light bulb. That was a pretty important invention because before then, all they, all they had was candles. That was it. Once yeah. he invented the light bulb, everything became electric. Yeah. That's, his That's name true. is Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison. Good. Next. Okay. The U.S. police who investigate national crimes are called the FBI. Right. Have you heard of the FBI? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. In the movie. Yeah. <laughs> From the movie. From the movies, right. So they, inve they investigate things like kidnapping, uh, plots against the government. Uh, I think... Uh, people who are uh, counterfeiting th things like, you know, major crimes against the country that local police don't investigate. If they're national crimes, they get a national police force. The national police force is FBI. Okay. Yeah. The headquarters is Washington, DC. How about CIA? What's okay, the difference? CIA is, is similar to the FBI, but that's for the spies. Hmm. Spies. But this you know, is not spy. Okay. It's different. Oh, okay. It's the spy, you know, we have spies in every country. And every country has spies in our country. We spy on them and they spy on us. And yeah. the, 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 the agency of the government that controls the spies that deals with espionage, which is spies, is the CIA. It mm -hmm. stands for Central Intelligence Agency, CIA. Yeah. You've heard of the CIA? Yeah, my yeah. heart yeah. yeah. Okay, 18. A bike boycott is a station in which people stop using something or dealing with somebody because they want to force a change. Right, that's a boycott. Right. Yeah. But how can you pronounce it? Boycott. Boycott. A boycott. boycott. In other words, if let's say uh, a lot of people feel that Walmart is unfair to the workers because they don't give them any benefits or anything, people may get together and refuse to go to Walmart. And so Walmart yeah. will notice that a lot less people are going there. And so they'll have to be better to the employees. So that would be a boycott. It's where people um, stop using Walmart or stop dealing with them because they want to make yeah. a change. Last year, I think, yeah, yeah. Last year, uh, stop, and shop, shop, uh, stop and shop people is uh, boycott. Right. Exactly. Ooh, stop and shop. exactly. Yeah, I remember. You're right. That was the same thing. Well, that was also a strike. A strike is when the workers themselves refuse to, to work. That's a strike. It's a little different. I just got to get it. A little different? Um, it's, it's, that's my phone. Hold on. My wife will get it. Okay. So if the workers uh, want more money or they want benefits, they want sick leave, they want a retirement plan or something, they may all refuse to go to work together. That's a strike. S-T-R-I-K-E, that's a strike. But when other people um, refuse to use the services of the business, that's a boycott. Okay. A little different. Okay, Good. next. Um, physique refers to the structure and form of the body. Right. If a person has a good physique, it means he looks very good, male or female. They probably go to the gym, they exercise all the time, and they look really good. So they have a very good physique. Yeah. Yeah. A son who is given the same name as his father is not known as Junior, J-R. Right, Junior, right. Right. Okay. Okay, we'll keep going. Number, number two, word review. Okay. Uh, number one, don't worry, it's plastic said and just after her weekend guest had now knocked the vase off the 
book shelf by accident. Right. Do you know what a vase is? Yeah. All right. Put you know inside what it is. I'll the, you look at it anyway. Put inside the flower, right? This, this is a vase. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Sometimes they can be expensive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shiny something. Shiny, good. right. They're very nice. Those are vases. Yes. Okay, number two. As Carl waited to be treated for the injury he had received during the soccer game, his entire body etched so badly, he was sure he would never be able to play another game. That's very good. The, the, the thing is, we pronounce it, it's, a, it's pronounced in a strange way. It's pronounced ache or ached. Oh. It, it looks like aged. It should be aged, but it's irregular. Like so many things in English, it's irregular. Pronounced ached, as if it were a K. Ached, even though it's like a, like a pain? Like a pain, right. An ache is a pain. It means the same yeah. thing. Exactly the same thing. Okay. Oh, headache. Yeah. Ache. Well, headache, right. Headache, yes. right. Exactly. Okay. And number three, when Louise could no longer tell which nice it was, which she realized that her eyesight was not as keen as it used to be. Very good. What, what does it mean keen? Keen means as, as sharp, as, as good as it used to be. If you have keen oh. eyesight, it means you have very good eyesight. I'll oh, give you an okay. example. An eagle is able to fly very high above the ground and see a small animal like a, like a mouse run across a field because an eagle has extremely keen eyesight. So keen mm. means very good or very sharp eyesight. I got it. Got it, okay, that's keen. The okay. other thing is the word niece, that's pronounced, it's pronounced niece. Niece? Niece. I know okay. it sounds like nice, but it's, uh. it's niece. Me, so, sorry. Niece. That's okay. No, it, it looks like I would think it would be nice see too, but it's it's pronounced it's irregular like so many. Uh -huh. Yeah. Niece. Number four. The coach asked that the next net net yeah the net be fixed so volleyball practice could start on time. Right. Uh, five. Before the guard, the guard, guard or guard. 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 Before the guard had a chance to say even one word, the prowler started pleading, have mercy on me. Don't turn me in. Very good. I didn't understand that one acting. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Let me see. Um, prowler started pleading. What does it mean? Okay. Uh, the, pr the prowler is somebody who is trying to steal something. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So he was stealing something and, and he was discovered by the guard. And so the, the prowler said to the guard, have oh, mercy okay. on me. In other words, please give me a chance. Mm -hmm. Don't turn me into the police. <laughs> That's what that means. I got it. Okay. Have mercy on me. Okay. Have mercy on me. Please don't turn me into the police. Okay. Oh, sorry, but it's my turn. Uh, the student could not understand how he was ever going to learn the names of all the rivers in Asia for the geography quiz. Correct. Uh, at the lecture Thursday night, the speaker made such an impact on Jimmy that he decided to stop smoking just as soon as he finished his last pack of cigarettes. All right. right. What does it mean, impact? Impact means it, 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 uh, it made an impact. Uh, it made an impression on him. Let me look at, let me give you the like a... Impact meaning here, let's do this one. No, that's not it. Oh, it's this one. Have a strong effect on someone. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, oh, I'll give you, I'll, let me give you an example. I'll give you an example. Let's say, yeah, like in this case, let's say a person smokes and his friend smokes and then his friend gets lung cancer. That would have a big impact on that person and then that person may quit smoking. It means a, a big, a strong effect. That's really what a strong effect yeah. is. I can use impact, for example, uh, 
there's no impact in many people in the country. That's an excellent example. Yep, the snow impacted many people. It did, because yeah. there was no school, there was no work. Exactly, that's a great example. Better than my example. Good. Yeah. My turn, right? Yeah. The inspector declared that workers had done such a spotty repair job on the tracks that every single person should be fired. Right. Spotty means they, they only took care, they didn't do a good job. They, they did, it was spotty. In other words, they only did spots. They didn't do the whole thing. They did this spot and this spot and this spot, but not the whole thing. So that's why the, they, the person said they should be fired because they did such a bad job. Okay. At the precise or precise? Precise. 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 At the precise moment that the telephone rang, someone started pounding on the front door and Elizabeth didn't know which to respond to first. Very good. Process, okay. Upon, notice, no, one spot, upon, uh, upon noticing how often his children used the computer, he had just brought them. Fred decided he made a wise investment. Very good. After having heard his employees explain how much you feeling his new plan would cause, the manager decided to reverse his decision and continually using his old plan. Very good. Don't mind her, said mother as her teenage daughter stormed off to her bedroom and slammed the door. She just going through a phase. A phase, right. A phase <laughs> is a stage. You know, all teenagers go through stages, you know. Except for except for Marcia's daughter, she doesn't go through it. She's perfect. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Except for for, for Maria, she's perfect. always good. <laughs> it's a perfect sentence. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thirteen. Lee was convinced convinced that if she just persisted, her employer would give her a raise sooner or later. Very later. good. Yep. Persistent. What's me persistent? Persistent means continued. Just continue yeah. trying. Persist. Okay. Now, if you're trying to um, learn to ski and you keep falling down and you can't ski, somebody will say, just keep persisting. You'll become a good skier sooner or later. Just persist in, in practicing. Oh. Persistent means to continue to try. I got it. Okay. The Don't give argument. Up. Yeah, the, the <laughs> argument is really petty, exclaimed Margaret. Who cares whether we serve turnips, turnips or squash for Thanksgiving dinner? What does it mean, turnip? Turnips, oh. it's a fruit. Let me show you. I just, I think it looks like a flower. I'll Tur show you. Turnip image here. Vegetable. Those are turnips. Oh, okay. People eat them. Turnips, they're a root vegetable. They're part of the root of the plant. They grow under mm -hmm. the ground. The reason they exist is to store food for the plant. Like during the winter when there's no sun and it's very cold, the plant can live because it, it, it eats all the, all the stored food that's in the, turn, in the root. That's why it's called mm -hmm. a root vegetable. We eat them. A lot of people yeah. like turnips. I don't like I turnips my, that much. I think my mom likes that one. And this is what they, when they pull them out of the ground, this is what they look like. This would be under the ground over here. And the, yeah. the ground would be like over there. And this is the stem. These uh -huh. are the stems. So you pull them out, but you don't eat the stems. They eat the root. Like carrots? Yeah, like carrots. Exactly. Yeah. Carrots is another root vegetable. Yeah. Exactly. Potato. Yeah. That's turnips. Okay. As the woman tripped over the coffee table, the photographer said, I'm sorry, but I just don't think you have the, the poise. Poise is correct? Uh, A poise? Yeah, poise? Place. poise is correct, right. The poise necessary to pose for these pictures. 
That's a hard one. Let me let's get let's get yes. a definition of that. Poise and pose is not similar. Poise. I, that's why I want to look poise up. Poise in poise. Poise. Pose. Po it's poise. Let me see. We want to do uh, get the definition so it's more clear. Uh, says, uh, poise means to be in control of yourself better. Graceful and elegant bearing in a person. If a person is very elegant and um, proper, they have poise. You're saying in the example that because the woman tripped over the table, she's clumsy. So she, she doesn't have the poise or the control of her body and, and gracefulness to pose for pictures. That's poise, poise, pronounced poise. Okay, okay, we'll keep going. Synonyms. Good. Okay. Uh, broth, soup, soup, soup. 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 Soup, soup yeah, soup. Broth, soup. Yeah. My, My turn? You know what, do, 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 a, do the first column. All right. Uh, and then she'll do the other column. Okay. Change other country, nation, top eight, brim, but I don't know what it means. <laughs> the brim is the top. Let me show you a brim. Oh, it's top? Top yeah, eight is, the brim. means top? Yeah, it means top. I'll show you. It's better to remember it if I show you a picture. All right. Uh, that's not what I want. Rim. No, that's not the, I don't know what that is. Mm -hmm. I know top, but top edges, I thought it is different, I think. Brim of cup, this is brim, let me, let me. Yeah, that, that's the brim, is, oh, this cup is filled to the brim. Oh, I got it. That's the brim, the brim is the top. If you fill, if, here's my I'm cup. If I fill it all the way up to here, all the way up, it's filled to the brim. So the brim is just means the top, actually. Just like a border. The border, the upper border. border. The upper border, yeah. Okay, and uh, fraud, hoax, fret, fury, gem or gem? Gem. Gem, gem jewel, jewel, jewel. Very good. Jewel. God and prod. Right, that's a strange one, it's a goad. To, 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 um, to goad somebody is to encourage him to do something he doesn't really want to do. Like, uh, you can't do it like this. Yeah, go. yeah, to go them on. Yeah, you can do it. You can do it. Go, go do it. That's like to prod them on, go them on. Right. Yes. Okay. And package, parcel. It's correct, parcel. Yeah, parcel. Uh, pastor, annoy. Yeah. Scatter, disperse. What Sleep. does it mean scatter? I'm sorry, Marcia. No What's problem. What's mean scatter? Like scatter a means to uh, scatter. I mean, and uh, scatter. But the throw in the throw in different directions. Okay, throw. In other words, okay, another, I got it. I'll give you an example. Let's say you have seed. That you want to plant grass and you want to plant grass. Yeah. You hit the seed, you grab onto you, you take the seed and you throw it around, you throw it in all different directions. Oh my god. Okay, okay. I'll see you. I'm taking her to get her hair done. Okay, great. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> she's leaving. So she wanted to say she's leaving. All right. <laughs> Scatter means okay. to throw in all different directions. I got it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, slim. Slender. Yeah. Stylish, tasteful. Right. Walk away and aisle. Aisle. Weak, frail. Bad luck, marriage. Very good. Aisle is Can I ask something? Yeah. Can we use for the my for, for our body for slim? For example, my body is so silly. Can yes, we use it, like all that? the time. All, all the time we do that. Yeah, you have a oh, okay. that means your body can apply to your body. But how about slender? My body Anything. is so slender? Yes. 
You, your right. body's slender, your body's slim. It can be used for a person all the time. I got it. Very common. Now, this is aisle. Aisle just means the space between, the space in the middle. Yeah, I know. Well, that. mm -hmm. That's an aisle, called an aisle, like that. But you're right, I know. Uh, slim or slender applies to a, an object. Like a pencil is slender or slim, but a person who's lost a lot of weight can also, well, you can say they're very slender or very thin. Thing. I got it. Got it. Okay. So that's good. Very good. We're almost at the end of this book. You believe it? Yeah. Almost at the end of the book. I think we'll finish Last we'll three pages. Oh, yep. <laughs> we'll see if we finish today or not. Um, okay. Then we're going to do antonyms, which are opposites. Opposite? An antonyms? Opposite? Yeah. Uh, antonyms yeah. the opposite. Okay. On page 160. Yeah. You're right. Okay. Number one. Aunt is uncle. Right. 13, doubtful. Clear, blurry. Blurred. 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 Collect, scatter, continue. Cheese. Continue. It could it's be stop, but I don't know. Cheese? I don't know what's that. It's hard cease? to pronounce. Cease. Cease? Cease. Cease, cease. cease means words, stop, right? Cease means to stop, right? To cease. Okay. If somebody's yeah. running away, for example, you could, if somebody's running away, you can say stop, or you can say cease. Oh, I didn't hear her cease before. It's not okay. as common. It's not as common, but it, it, okay. it's, it's out there. Cramped, roomy, float, faultless, gas, hoss. Right. Okay. Important, petty, needy, uh, wealth. Wealth, wealth, wealthy, 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 means, wealthy means rich. In other words, yeah, rich. wealthy is rich. Yes. Present, absent, relaxing, dis distressful, very good, sinful, holly, yeah, stillness, motion, straight, zigzag, uh, valley, mountain. Right. Very good. Okay, now we get homonyms. Now, homonyms <laughs> are words that sound exactly the same. They're pronounced the same, but they have much different meanings. Yeah. An example of a homonym would be like son and son. S-O-N is your male child, your son, but S-U-N is what's up in the sky, and they, they sound exactly the same. So you have to know which, what they mean by the context, by the situation. Mm -hmm. Okay? Uh, so, okay. Number one. Bye and have a great time, Colorado, said Phillips, as she stood by the gate and waved to her cousin. Right. Bye which, first, another bye, by the gate. Right, but which yeah. one was, which one is which? First one, B-Y-E. <laughs> right, that's it, because they all sound the same. Okay, good. Bye. Okay, okay second. When, uh... Dinner shouted, fire, in share, in share, sheer, yep. sheer panic. The dining room of the inn, I and N, was empty in I N just yep. a matter of seconds. Right. What, what does it mean inn? Right. An inn is a hotel. Yeah, it's no. like a hotel. It's a hotel. Oh, okay. I N is a hotel. Okay. Fill her up, said Phil, proudly as everyone at the gas station turned to admire his Rolls Royce. Phil name, right? Phil is a name, yes. It's Second short, one. It's, it's short for Philip. Anybody, yeah. you may see somebody named Phil. His, his, his official name is Philip, P-H-I-L-I-P, -I -I but nobody calls him Philip. They call him Phil. I got it. Okay. Even if he thinks he doesn't sound good, can't you convince him to sing the hymn for the Easter serves? Yeah. Mrs. Brown asked. Uh, the first hymn, A-G-I-M. The second, H-Y-N-N. Right. M-N. For H-Y-M-N, of course, the N at the end is silent. Mm -hmm. You don't say the M. N, silent letter. Very good. Yes. 
Okay, glaring at his classmates, Soli said, if you are going ball, every time I throw the ball to someone else, you can be on my team. First one, B-O-W-I-L. Right? Right, exactly. Ball means to cry. It's just another word for cry. B-A-W-L -W -W. cry. If you're going to cry or ball, every time I throw the ball to someone else, you can't be on my team. Right. Okay. Even though he felt disappointed when his uncle told him he would not be allowed to carry the gun on the hunting trip, Chris said aloud, that's okay, I, I'll just carry some of the camping gear. Sorry. The, fir the first aloud, A-L-L-O-W-E-D. Um, that's correct. Yes, that's correct. You got it. You got it. Okay. You know, they did. Um, well, while we're waiting for her, they did not kick us off Zoom after 40 minutes this time. Okay. I don't know why. <laughs> we, we didn't have to go back on. That, that was, yeah. We were lucky. Okay. How does the dog like the snow? Oh my gosh. <laughs> It's hard because, uh, how can I say, uh, slider, slider a lot? Slides a lot? Oh my gosh. Yeah. And uh, she, she likes the smell. Uh, every every places and if and this place is full of ice and oh my god it's yeah. crazy it's yeah. crazy from for bella make pee make pee yeah. <laughs> on the on on the ice i don't know it's correct say this yeah, yeah it's correct yeah <laughs> Uh, it takes time to pee. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> a long time. Does she does she want to stay outside or does she want to go right back into the house? No, outside. Outside? She likes it out there yeah. even when it's cold? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Uh, you have to be very careful because it's like a lot outside. Yeah, it's very slippery. It's slippery. It's very slippery. 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 Good. Oh slippery. my gosh, it's very yeah. slippery. Yep. Okay, we might as well continue. If she okay. joins us in a minute, that's okay. We'll back okay. up. Number seven. Seven. The main reason, the main uh, like principal reason yeah. that the horse's mane looked so awful was that the girl was ill. Very good. Let's look at a horse's mane. Good. Yeah, that's the mane, the hair. That that's the mane. Oh. Mm -hmm. Like all these horses have a nice mane. M-A-N-E. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like a heart. <laughs> okay. You didn't miss anything, I know. I'm sorry. Uh my kids is here and I have to uh not pick, not pick. So, uh, going to school with them. Uh, I have to leave. I'm That's so okay. sorry. No, we understand. No, no problem. No, I understand 100%. Uh, so, um, see you Tuesday, okay? Okay, see you next time. Have a good weekend, and, my door. Sorry again. And see you. Bye bye. No problem. Bye. Enjoy. I know. Take care. Bye. Have a good weekend. You too. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> bye. Okay. okay, so now we're on. Let's go. Uh, number eight? Number eight. Because John didn't bother to read the, the fine print, he damaged, damaged the read in his English form the very first time he used. 
Right. Let me give you English horn. It's a it's a musical instrument. I guess that's it. Mm -hmm. That's an English horn. Okay. Very nice. Get it up close. And the thing that you blow on, you can't see it very well. That's mm -hmm. the reed, R-E-E-D. It's a, it's a piece of wood that you blow mm -hmm. on and it produces the sound. It's a, like a, uh, uh, I, I don't know what, na what the name, flute? Like a flute, right, right. Flute, flute. Flute, right. It's like a like flute. Like a uh, flute? Well, actually, a flute, there's no reed. A flute, you just blow across the opening. Yeah. There's no reed on it. Let me show you a reed. I want to do clarinet. Clarinet. This is a clarinet. Uh -huh. And there's a reed at the end. Uh, I wish they would show it. Clarinet reed. Oh, so that's the reed, that thing. Okay. You, 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 you go, you know, you blow on it and it produces the sound. And then uh -huh. you open and close the holes on the instrument to make the different notes. Good. So that's the reed. But in a flute, there's no reed. Flute. Yeah. You just blow across it. This is a flute. Yeah. You just different. blow across it. Mm -hmm. Like that. No reed. Okay. Good. That was good. Good. Okay. Number nine. When Halfie picked between his fingers to see how his horse was doing in the race. He groan, groaned. Oh no, I think my horse picked too soon. Right. That's a hard sentence to understand. Yeah. What, what does it mean when he what does it mean when he said he his horse has peaked too soon? Uh, That's very hard. Yes, it's hard to explain. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, it's hard to say. I, I, it's hard to, to me too. But I think he means that it was a long race and the horse was going so fast at the beginning that he didn't have any more speed left by the end. So the other horses went past him towards the end. To peak means to get to the high point too early. When you're in a long race, you don't want to run as fast as you can right away because you may be in front initially, but then the other horses will then go faster towards the end because mm -hmm. you used up all your energy. So you want to peak towards the end. So I think that's what he meant, okay. that the horse peaked too early. Mm -hmm. That's all okay. for what it's worth. Okay. Good. Let's go. It seemed to Nancy that every poor reacted in terror as the nurse began to pour the burning liquid onto her wound. Right. Let me see. Pore of skin. Yes. Let's see what that looks like. Mm -hmm. So those are the pores, those little holes. I like yeah. these, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is a magnified. It's much mm -hmm. bigger than in life. Those are the little everybody has we all have this, these little little holes there. Yeah. Those are the pores. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. It didn't require much insight on the part of the policy officers to recognize who would incite the townspeople to riot. Right. Okay. Uh, not a soul will not will ever realize that my sole reason for the crime was to see whether or not I could get away with it, Chuck it chuckled the pirate, the pirate? Pirate. 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 This is yes. a pirate. Like, yeah. like that, <laughs> like that, like that's a pirate, let me see. 
Yeah. They, they still have pirates. Like pirates are people, they, they, they're, 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 they're criminals and they, mm -hmm. they go aboard other ships and they mm -hmm. usually kill everybody on the ship and steal all the valuables from the ship. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the pirates. Okay. Okay. Okay, so now we're on the last off the page Caribbean. Of the we can finish the last page and then we'll be done. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, word sound review. And this exercise is hard. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Yeah. The word is frail uh, against faithful faithful. Yeah. Raid. It's great. And what waistline? Yeah. Correct? Yeah. I don't know, maybe against? Yes, against. Because they all sound like A, like frail, faithful, raid, waistline. But okay. against has a different sound. Yeah. So the answer, you're right, it's against. Good. Big. Bed, beat, bead, bead, cleanse, leash, leash, peanut, mm. clings, maybe yes, clings. Yes, is the answer. Let me, do you know what a bead is? Bead. This is a bead. All of those things are beads. Yeah. Those are beads. These are pearl, they look like pearls. This is a very nice, very nice bracelet. Yeah. I hope your husband buys you this for Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Those are all beads. Okay. Good. Yeah. And looter, looter, both shoot, wood, zoo. Wood, maybe wood. Yes, wood. Water. Yes. Wood. Wood. Very good. Okay. Pillow, bowling, chow, rope, rowboat, show, show. Uh, show. Yes, chow. Very good. Chow. What, what is chow? I don't know. Chow is just another word for food. It means food. Yeah. You can sometimes say, if let's say you're shopping in the mall with your family and it's time to, you're hungry, you can, you can say, for example, let's go to a restaurant and get some chow. Oh, I didn't yeah. know. Yeah. You can say, get some food. You can say, get some chow. It's a word for food. Good. Okay. I like food. Okay. Uh, blouse. Double. Doubt. Doubtful, doubtful, yep. lounge, sur surplus, sourpuss, sur sourpuss, double maybe? Yes, double. double. Um, a sourpuss is somebody who's always in a bad mood. Yeah. They're never bad happy. Mood? Always in a bad mood. They're a sourpuss. They're always like, if you see them, this is what they look like. They look like, like this. All the time. <laughs> okay. <You know>. <laughs> Never happy. <laughs> okay. And it's Thai. Bystander. Type. Style. Symptom. I don't know. Symptom? Symptom. Absolutely. Symptom. Because the other ones all sound like I. Sty. Mm -hmm. Bystander, type, mm. style, but symptom. It's a different sound. Mm -hmm. So very good. It's symptom. Good. And zigzag, tango, target, underdog, or gently, or gently. Right. Ache, bark, bark. Yeah. Engage, polite, recipe. 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 Right. Recipe. Right. Definitely. Because all the other ones, you don't actually say the E. Mm -hmm. Right? Ache. You don't say the E. 
in barge or engage, you don't actually say the E, but in yeah. recipe, you say it. Yeah. That's why. And Chris, child, Christmas, Chrome, Echo, Echo. Uh, echo or Echo? Echo. Echo. I think so. Child? Child it is. Yes, very good. It's child. Okay. And the last one, custom, citizen, comma, delicate, garlic. Citizen. Very good. Now, you know, this next one, the final exercise is a very good exercise to review the states. Mm -hmm. It's a very good one. So I think we mm -hmm. should stop here and do okay. it next time so she can have that benefit. Yeah. There's 20 states here. We can go through all those states and review them. Yes, I agree. Okay. Okay, good. So um, we can start. It's almost 1030. We can stop here for this for today. We, yes, you know, it's, it's very good. Close enough. And next time we'll do um, that exercise. And then we will go to the new book. The new book. <laughs> I got it. This lo I know you do. This looks like a very interesting book. I was looking at some of the stories and the grammar. It's very good. I, 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 I read the, the, the first lesson yeah. about health food. Yeah. It's very nice. It was. I read it also. I, I didn't know if we would do it today. Mm -hmm. you know. uh, so, uh, okay. Yeah. okay Great. So I think we're, we're, we're going to call it a day. We'll call it a day. Yes. Call it a day. <laughs> so, uh, okay. Have a nice weekend. Yes. You too. Okay. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Larry. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take, take care. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.